Welcome to another Greater Randolph SDA Church Communications Update for December 29, 2020. Today we're here a special year-end message from Pastor Chance and update you on several upcoming activities. Pastor Chance, welcome. Hey, Alan Yolanda, again, thank you all so much for this wonderful opportunity to share with the church family what we have coming up. But first, I will hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas time with friends and family. Uh, how was your Christmas season? It was great. Thank wonderful. you. Awesome. Awesome. Relaxing. Yes, ours was very simple and relaxing as well. But we want to take this time as well uh, on behalf of the church, on behalf of my family, we want to wish every single one a happy new year. And may God richly bless each and every one of you. 2020 indeed was one of those years. And pretty soon we are all saying goodbye to it. Just a few more days now. But I just want to encourage you that God has been good to us. And let us remember to give him thanks for his protection, for his provision, and for all the peace that he has given to us. Amen. Pastor Chance, as we wind down this year and get ready to welcome 2021, there are quite a few things on the calendar that our members need to be aware of. Tell us what we can expect for the next few days and weeks. Well, Yolanda, that is true. There are so many things coming up, and I do hope and encourage that all of our members will, first of all, just go to our website, click on the uh, calendar tab on the navigation menu, uh, because you have a lot of um, activities that are listed there. You also have a WhatsApp group. Uh, pay close attention to all the announcements that are coming through there, and, of course, Facebook and YouTube, uh, other channels where we are posting the updates. But nonetheless, here are at least two of the things that are happening right this weekend, and then we can get into uh, for January and beyond. Now, the most important thing right now we have is right this Thursday, okay, New Year's Eve. We are having a New Year's Eve service, so we can not only just bring the year together, but kind of end 2020, into the new year together, and also have a prayer of dedication and consecration. So I encourage everyone, this Thursday, December 31st, at 6.30 p.m., again, we're going to have limited in-person, and also for those who want to join us, it's going to be live on Facebook, and we're going to try to stream as well on YouTube. So again, December 31st, 6.30 p.m. Central, please join us in person and online for our New Year's Eve celebration together. Then also, the first Sabbath of the New Year, what a wonderful way to start the New Year off. We are going to be having communion service. This is a time for you and I to be able to now, we have already dedicated ourselves indeed for closing the year and starting it out well for the New Year's Eve service. But uh, communion day now, this is the first Sabbath of the year. So we are starting off together as the beginning of the quarter as well. So please be prepared for that. For those of you who are not joining us in person, the recipes are already posted on the church website. So you can go there right now and uh, scroll down a bit and you'll see the recipe for the bread. You can make your own communion bread or you can pick them up from the head deaconess. For those of you who are attending in person, everything is already planned and prepared for you. Okay, thank you for that. Prayer Ministries also has a few programs in January. Tell us a bit about those. Well, like many other ministries, Prayer Ministries is super busy, and they already have a wonderful year planned out. And I really want to appreciate Dr. Nia Sulu and the Prayer Ministries team because they really are putting us in an emphasis of prayer, posture of prayer for 2021. The, the whole calendar has programs um, spread out you know, over the year for punctuated prayers. Specifically, uh, we're going to have seasons of prayer and fasting and the like. But let's start with January, right? Actually, this, the 2nd of January to that first Sabbath is also a day that is dedicated to prayer. That is in line with the global initiative of the uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Revival and Reformation. So this is not something we are doing on our own accord. We are participating unitedly. And of course, we're told in these last days that we should be joining together for prayer, to seek God for revival. And that is actually the theme, is seeking revival. So I encourage everyone for both the 2nd and the 6th to the 10th is, I mean, 6th to the 16th, sorry, is uh, 10 days of prayer, okay? That again is part of the Revival and Reformation Initiative. So all of these are scheduled on a calendar already. And so we are plugging into it. So we are not trying to disrupt. <laughs> I know sometimes First Sabbath can seem uh, challenging because we have other things going on. But let's listen. We cannot see God enough, right? I mean, God right. is here to, 
to, that's what we want, by the way. We want spiritual growth. And so we are availing ourselves of the Holy Spirit uh, to be able to use us. So again, I want to encourage you to join us on the second for the uh, day of prayer and fasting, but also 10 days of prayers is from January the 6th to the 16th. You can go to 10daysofprayer.org or revivalandreformation.org. But Greater Randolph will be having a program every single night for those 10 days. So different people can share. If you want to participate in that, please get a hold of the prayer ministries leader. All right. So what else is there for the first quarter of 2021? Man, 2021, Al, I tell you, there's a whole lot going on here. Let me check my list so I don't um, mess them up. One of the things is, though, I think last time I preached here in December, I think we shared, well, actually, the first Sabbath in December, I shared about the vision for the whole year, where each quarter we are focusing on specifically different themes. Our whole overarching theme for the year is about practical Christianity. We want us to be, to be spiritually well. We want us to be uh, rounded. So the first quarter outlook is about spiritual health. That's why we are starting off the year with all these uh, programs and activities, because we really want to have a strong spiritual foundation, especially, you know, coming out of a year like 2020. I know many people are going to be hopeful going into the year. So we want to um, tap into that vein. Then the second quarter, uh, we're going to be focusing on mental and emotional health. That really is a big challenge we have in our world today. I mean, everybody has been affected, and we want to be able to bring some faith-based um, perspective on that and to help people uh, in that regards as well. The third quarter, we're going to be focusing on um, financial health, and not only, again, from the basic perspective of you know, money management, but really and truly a holistic approach, and especially how should God's people in the end time be managing their finances, because that truly is an important area where we need to be wise as we see prophetically what is going on. We should be also making some wise decisions. I would say even godly decisions, because sometimes we can make worldly wise decisions, but not necessarily godly decisions. So we want to combine those two and help us to be able to manage our finances. And then lastly, the last quarter is all about family and social relationships. So again, all the other things, um, Alan, Yolanda, they, these can all be found on our church's um, calendar. So, you know, we want you to be there because there's a lot of things that will help you grow. But let me point out a couple more. At the end of January, the 24th through the 29th, it is written we are partnering with them for an online series, No Limit. That is, again, about, you know, spiritual growth, spiritual renewal. Then on February the 7th to the 14th, we will be doing, I will actually be leading that out. We have a family life series, a one-week family life series each night at 7 p.m. Then in March, there's a youth week of prayer. We want to empower our youth. So we are hoping to get a speaker for that. If not, our own um, youth will be able to present there and others, youth and young adults can present there. April, we're going to have, we are pivoting now after the first quarter, we are pivoting now to public evangelism. So um, April, we're going to have a weekend seminar that's more having to do with end time preparation. And then May, first two weeks in May is all dedicated to evangelism. And we're going to have our own people. We are trying to um, encourage You've been seeing us speaking for four months now on personal discipleship, everyone taking part. We want lay people to be involved in this. And what we've done is the conference is actually going to be given $1,000 to lay people who want to be able to participate in this. And then locally, Greater Randolph will also match those funds. So let's just say, um, and they can be done probably by even departments, but let's just say personal ministries want to do one and they have a, a lay person speaking. Uh, and then we have the youth ministries and they want to do that. So what we'll do is we will have both of them. We will give monies to each of those. So if there are four or five different teams who want to do that, each of them will be getting support financially from the conference as well as from the church to do those campaigns, okay? So that's some exciting things, personal ministries. You will hear more from them as we get closer to those events. Nice. We have a year full already. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much, Pastor Chance, for the updates. There are lots of exciting programs to start the year off correctly. So we encourage each member to mark your calendars to get involved. Also, we're in the process of creating our web pages for each ministry department. So if you haven't submitted your details yet, please, please do so. If you need help, get with the communications department, and we are all willing to assist. 
And Pastor Chance, um, any closing words before we wrap up today's communication? Uh, well, not much. I just want to thank you all. I really appreciate you guys uh, for what you're doing. And uh, this is helping us a lot, trust me. And so um, we really appreciate uh, both of you for leading out in the communications team and also um, collecting data from the other ministries. So please do support communication. They can only help you if you help them, right? Because they are helping you to get your information and content out there. So I encourage all the members to work closely with communication department. And again, on behalf of my household, I want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year together. Let us put hands together as we go forward by grace and by by faith to do and accomplish all that God has for each and every one of us. No matter what the year brings, though, let's just stay focused on our relationship with Jesus Christ and keep claiming his promises because God can be with us. If there's a mountain, he can take us up the mountain, around the mountain. But I'll, if we need to go through the mountain, he's going to take us through the mountain as well. So just Absolutely. keep holding on, saints, because God is good and he has been faithful to us in 2020. I don't expect him to do any less in 2021 and beyond and again i want to see you guys on the 31st okay december the 31st let us close out this year together in worship hear, hear a few testimonies some songs and let us pray together as a church family as we welcome 2021 god bless each and every one of you glory to god well that's all for now greater randolph keep an eye out for our website facebook YouTube, and WhatsApp for more updates and announcements. Until next time, be safe and have a happy new year. God bless.